So welcome back people, this is Glenn and today on our amazing adventures of banknotes and coins we are going to have a look at some Vietnamese currency. So Vietnamese currency, what currency do they use? Well currently they use the dong. So here it is. Uh, don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. This is it, dong. And this has got hai, so that just means two in Vietnamese. And these banknotes were never issued. Why would I say that? Well, these are the issued that were produced by the Viet Cong. And the Viet Cong were the rebel group in South Vietnam that wanted to overthrow the Republic of Vietnam government. So the government that was supported by the United States. And they actually... They, they'll always fool themselves, they were saying, yeah, we're gonna win, we're gonna win. So, in order to prepare for that takeover, they produce their own currency. And this is the first version that was actually issued. It was never issued because a lot of it was actually captured by the Americans. And in that case, when an enemy actually carry, captures your currency, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, no, nah, we can't use that because we don't know if um, we print more money, if the Americans are just going to flood our currency, and uh, the people will lose faith in its value. Or, you know, the Americans might just print counterfeit currency. So, yeah, they decide not to actually print those, but these are actually a nice series to get. Uh, they actually did issue a second currency. So this one was actually used in 1975 up until 1978 when they actually, or well, Vietnam actually introduced a reunification currency. So currency for all of Vietnam. And this was had an exchange rate of um, 20 South Vietnamese dong equals one new Vietnamese dong. So this is 20 of the Republic of Vietnam dong. And as you can see, the currency down below is the one never issued. This one was the one that was. And the difference you'll notice that has Ngang Hang Vietnam. Don't even know it's the right pronunciation. This one has Oi Ban Tung Ok Wong. No. I know Vietnamese probably going, oh my god, he butchered my language. How dare he? Well, I don't speak Vietnamese. Don't you, don't you. So, this is the one that was not issued, this one was. So, let's have a look at some of the other banknotes that were actually were not issued. So, I'll show you the reverse of this side. This one's actually quite a nice banknote. So, the lowest denomination I have is the 10-2 and this would have an equivalent of about probably like one dime or 10 cents or if you're in Russia 10 kopegs if you're in China um, one zhao so it's just one tenth of a dong and it has the Vietnamese or the communist um, star which represents Vietnam and as you can see, it's actually quite a simple banknote. There is no watermark or security features. You just got this uh, patination in the back. And then on the reverse, you just have, uh, uh, looks like a type of patination, more like a Chinese type patination. Because uh, they, they, even though they were communist, they still kept their language and customs. And then I don't have the 20 and 50 two, but I do have the one and two and 10 dong. So this one is consecutive series. So you've got two, seven, two, eight, two, nine. So you can still get these in consecutive series. And I prefer to actually buy in consecutive series. And if you can see, uh, even though it wasn't circulated, it's got a lot of water damage. And that's pretty common with these banknotes. A lot of water damage and some folding. And as you can see, it's got people harvesting wheat. And a 
wheat field. And if we look on the other side, you can see it's got education. So it's a pretty common theme with communist uh, banknotes. So here we've got industry, uh, industrialization, or agriculture, which sometimes they have medical and uh, armed forces, but mm, we should actually see some of those on these banknotes actually. So that's a one dong. This is probably the most common banknote you can get. Then we have the two dong. So here's a two dong. These are all consecutive as well. Four one, four two, uh, four three, and four four. Um, oh, first I'll say the prices of this one. So this one. In this grade, you're probably looking at between five and ten dollars for that. Uh, the twenty and fifty is probably probably between twenty and uh, ten and twenty dollars because it's a lot harder to get. This one being the most common, probably probably about five dollars for uh, a banknote of this quality for the one dong. And let's have a look at the two dong. As you can see, it has people. I'd say they're gathering. Looks like bananas or something. And probably one of the hill tribes because surprise, surprise, in Vietnam they don't all speak Vietnamese. There's actually a lot of different ethnic groups in Vietnam. And that's pretty much common for a lot of countries. I would say most countries. Um, and they're not uh, homogenous, which means just one ethnic group. Even Japan's not homogenous. And on the reverse, we've got people fishing. So this is probably, might be on the Mekong. Although Vietnam does have a lot of other rivers. But once again, these have no watermarks and no security threads. So they would be easy to counterfeit, especially today. But back then, the United States could have printed these quite easily. And another thing you'll notice is that... Um, they don't have any dates on them, so there's no date on that side. There's no date on that side. But they are dated to 1963 anyway. Um, maybe they were producing that year, I'm not too sure. And here's the highest denomination I have is the Tendong. The highest denomination was actually issued was the 50, and that's actually very expensive. This banknote probably cost you about 20. 30. If you want to get a higher grade than this, you're probably looking about 50 to 100 dollars. So these are actually not very common. If you want 50 dong, mm, you're probably looking at ooh, probably a few hundred dollars for that because it's very, very rare. Oh, well, not rare, very scarce. So, and here's a type of security feature up here. So if you have a look at that, it's like a Cheap watermark. Um, I'll take it out because of that plastic is reflecting. So, as you can see there, beautiful banknote. And I did make a boo boo. This one's actually from the series that was issued for circulation 1966. Um, so, I don't have the Tendong, but this one, the price still stands for this one. This one's actually very hard to get. Um, but yeah, they're actually quite a nice series of banknotes to get this lot of these. And as you can see, 966 series actually has um, the date on it, 1966. And the design's pretty separate. And as you can see, this one has a Viet Cong flag. So the Viet Cong is different from the Vietnamese flag in that the bottom has a star in the center, but the bottom is uh, red and the top is blue, which is uh, different than the all red flag of Vietnam of these days. And nice banknote. But really, the banknotes, you probably want to get is either of these, both of these. I'm trying to get all of them, but um, this series is probably a lot easier to get 
for uh, most of the banknotes. And this series is a lot harder to get, especially 5, 10 and 50 dong. And um, the 20 and 52, which I've been able to find at a good price. Because, uh, you know, coin shops, eBay, sometimes their prices are a bit high. And it just doesn't want to encourage you to buy. So anyway, I hope that confusion didn't confuse you. So there were two series, one 1963 without the date, and a 1966, which was issued in 1975 for circulation. But they are both pretty hard to come by. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. And have an awesome banknote collecting time, people. Thank you, and bye-bye.